sack for Meals Under Pressure. Um, for those of you that have been following my recipe for a while, you know that I'm from Pensacola, Florida, you know, down here on the Gulf Coast, so we do a lot of seafood bowls. You know, crawfish, shrimp, blue crabs, and we can catch enough. Um, and you always have leftovers. You always have fillers that are left over. I see a bunch of y'all do seafood bowls in the, uh, in the different IP communities that, that I follow. Um, so you, you know that you, you always add your fillers, like your red potatoes, your sausage, your, you know, your little corn on the cob. Uh, we, I like to add mushrooms. Um, and at the end of the day, after everybody's gone through and picked through everything, a lot of times you're, you know, you're left with a bunch of these potatoes and, and corn. So what do you do with it? Uh, well, don't just throw it away. I'll show you what we do down, down here in the south. Uh, we'll take those potatoes and that corn because it's perfectly seasoned and we'll make like a, like a soup. You can make like soup with it, uh, which is really good. Uh, but what I'm going to show you tonight is a after boil potato salad. Um, so we have not done a boil because, you know, COVID, we've, uh, we haven't done much this year. Uh, but I'm, so I'm going to kind of replicate, you know, this boil. So I've got my new potatoes. I'm going to put them in my liner. Um, I've got the equivalent of uh, two stalks of celery. I'm gonna put one out, leave one out. I'm gonna put one in, and I've got my, my smoked sausage. And I'm not gonna use my sausage for this recipe, but I had some, and boiling it is a perfect way of cooking it, so uh, real good. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is you always wanna put your stuff in first, and then put your water in so you know you know, you know know where your water's gonna come to. So let me get my water in, I'll show you how to season up, and we'll get, we'll get to rolling. All right, so we got a water in there. We're we'll going to season it up. I've got some liquid crab bowl here. I'm going to add. I don't usually measure. Just add a couple. I'd say a couple tablespoons. And I've got some slappy mama crab bowl. All right, and I've got some salt. All right, make sure your lid is set to seal. Hit the manual button or press cook button, whatever model you have, and set it to five minutes. That's gonna cook those potatoes perfectly the way we need it for potato salad. All right, but after that, you know, we're gonna need, you're gonna need some, some Creole seasoning, whatever type you like, uh, some mayonnaise. I like some uh, Creole mustard. You can use spicy mustard or Dijon mustard. Uh, Medium-sized white onion. And <clears throat> I've got some eggs that are cooking. I'm gonna eat three hard boiled eggs. So uh, let this finish and we'll be back. All right, so I did five minutes under pressure and then I, I did a quick release and I took my potatoes and my onions out or my celery out and I, you know, cut them up. Mm -hmm. After I let them cool a little bit, I cut them up. Um, so they're a little bit cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I've got my onion that I've diced. That's in there. I've got my celery that I dice, including the ones that I boiled. And I've got three hard boiled eggs that I diced. And that's going in there. All right, so now I've got a cup of mayonnaise. Get as much as you can in there. And I've got a tablespoon of, I like to use Creole mustard. You can use spicy mustard if you want, but I like to use Creole. That's going in there. And of course. do about half a teaspoon of a Creole season or Cajun season. I like Slap Your Mommy, you all know that. So not too much, you don't want to overpower it. And then just fold all that together. And again, that's a good way to reuse those perfectly seasoned potatoes after your bowl. That smells good. Yeah, really good. Again, no reason to throw them out. Now, a lot of people down here will take that corn and cut it off the, the cob and put the kernels in here. Um, they'll even take some of the leftover, whether it's shrimp or a crawfish or whatever, put it in here. Um, but I didn't have any of the, of the corn to, uh, you know, to boil, so... Again, you don't have to do a bowl to do this. I showed you how you can do, you can just do the potatoes and the celery and, and the uh, in this pot without doing a whole whole bowl. But again, after pot potato salad, really good way of using that that those extra leftover you know fillers. So 
All right, hope y'all enjoy. Um, we got a Facebook page called Meals Under Pressure and a YouTube uh, channel. If you want to like and uh, subscribe, we, we do a lot of these uh, video recipes on that. So we'll see y'all next time.